to get like smudge resistant glasses. <laughs> I don't know, dude. They just they just get shit on them. Cat and probably mostly cat. You comfy in that bed, Mama? You look pretty comfy. Okay. Do ye old ready checko? Six, I got impaired. Ninety-eight, I got the enhanced reprisal. Okay. Uh. <laughs> so now my reprisal lasts extra long. Little DPS, you're gonna be real upset if you don't accept your cue. Nice word, I can pronounce this one. I mean, the stun. Heck yeah. Stun. I've seen somebody flying on one of these bikes, so I know you can get the bikes as a mount.
Oh, shit. <laughs> okay.
What the fuck is this? Oh boy! He's got no arms. Let's go. At least they're consistent in the names of their AoEs. Search and destroy. Oh joy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was thinking, like, we're gonna have to fucking figure out how to dodge all of them at the same time. It's, ex it's just acceleration bomb. They're trying to make you aware of it. parts we have these days. They really should put in a ready for rating achievement if you do bosses that have a lot of fucking bullshit like this. I think it's the gear for sure. Come at me, bros. Whoop. You don't have to worry about me. I am hallowed. 
for three seconds anyway. Two, one. My one piece of fending gear. Yep. Oh. Who's this piece of shit? I'm gonna murder the fuck out of you. <laughs> it's gross, mom. Xander the snake skinner. Interesting. Boy, I got the axe first. My warrior. He's dying very fast. Be a phase two, yep. Oh, oh no, 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 don't stand back there. <laughs> I'm sure he would love to try to have my head on a pike, but I'm gonna put his on a pike instead. He does. Oh, he's doing a, he's doing a pie slice safe spot. <laughs> he's going around the room, all right. He's gonna come back to life because he's got the little thingy. Come on, I got two stacks of Requiescat left. Hurry up. Oh, what the fuck? I lost my stacks of Rec, but didn't lose my combo. Still feels bad though, because I'm not a fuck. I definitely read that as Slytherin for a second. I don't know what that skill was actually called. It was like slip, slip the any. What the fuck? This. Synthesliner in. Oh, hello. That's cool. And first non goring blade proc of the night. Let's go. Game. Okay, don't stand in front of him when he does that. Because he doesn't give you the. Oh, that's a rear guard! He tricks us! He's a tricksy bastard! Stay, stay in front, stay in front. Now get behind.
Yo, this like slither thing he does is really cool, actually. <laughs> it's annoying for uptime, but hey, whatever. I'm a pilot and I don't actually care about uptime because I can just do this. <laughs> Like it actually is just their pistol. That's cool. What greeted us was not the home that I had left behind. There was no mistaking we had reached the Yasulani. And yet, it was wholly unlike my memories. The lands of my childhood had changed beyond imagine. To where had I returned? We tread on the darkened skies above a mirror to my heart, clouded with fear and uncertainty. How bizarre. This cannot be Yasulani, can it? about though is there should be no shards so heavily aspected in lightning ether like this because the very first calamity was a calamity of lightning I'm sure we're gonna find out Okay, three, ooh god, this is a big map. Okay, three etherites. Northwest. What the fuck are those ugly motherfucking little things? What are you horrifying malaligned half dragon things? You are not an axe beak. That is not what axe beaks look like.
Yeah. Indeed it is, Wuklamot.
he's gonna go touch it. And then be a fried graha. Do you wanna do the spate since we're right here? <laughs> Excuse me. They're probably Graha's people. I'm sorry, Aaronville's people. Although they have weapons from place. Interesting. So I think what happened is the bubble has actually pulled what used to be whatever the fuck this place is called. Excuse me, Imperator, please go off. Thank you. Uh, into whatever reflection this is. As opposed to... Which is why I think, like, the buildings have dilapidated because time flows differently on their shard. So, if we got pulled... If this little area got pulled... Ooh, Forlorn Maiden, where are you? There you are. Come here! Uh, it would explain why the buildings got dilapidated very rapidly. Nice hoodie. Lord, it is. <laughs> Let's see. I got a ring that is fucking dog shit. <laughs> and some earrings that are actually pretty good. <laughs> should actually probably put those on. Where are the bracers I got from the previous dungeon? There we go. This ring is so bad. Do I have another skill speed tenacity? I do. Okay. Goodbye, Ascension Ring. Are you gonna actually level Sage? <laughs> mm -hmm. You're low. Right. All gonna be naked again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hack the planet is what that fate is called. Interesting. Mm hmm.
It's in ruins. But why? W what happened here? And where is everyone? I had a look in a few of the other houses, but they had clearly been abandoned. Damn it all! None of this makes sense! Excuse me? Are you looking for someone? <laughs> I apologize for giving you a fright. However, I did have reason to keep to the shadows. Sir Roger has told me a great deal about you. Sir Roger? Greetings, and welcome to the realm of Alexandria. I am Sphine, the Queen of Reason. Queen of Reason? If you are the Queen of Reason, is there perhaps a... Yes, if you mean to ask if there is a King of Resolve, Zorulja holds that title, and together do we reign. Then you're both behind the attack on Tulishola. And I doubt you're here to offer us a warm reception. No, you have it all wrong. I am not come to fight. Zorulja rules alongside me, but that is a matter of expedience. In truth, we are at odds, he and I. It is at considerable risk to myself and my people that I come before you to beg your aid. Our aid? I'll admit I cannot imagine King Zororja is keen to share and share alike. But if what you say is true, you're still the queen. Indeed. But I was once the sole ruler of Alexandria. Until one day, he appeared, mm -hmm. bent on conquest. In my weakness, I feared his power. So I persuaded him to forego violence and strike a bargain. I would remain queen, and he would receive technology that would empower him to achieve even loftier ambitions, along with the knowledge to use it. A gamble, to be sure, but if it might spare my people... If I may, the dome surrounding these lands was erected but recently. How is it he was able to not only invade, but instate a new system of leadership in a mere matter of days? I've never heard of your realm. And this place is, or at least was, Yasulani. The house I grew up in is still here. But three years ago, that tower and these strange contrivances weren't. Nor was our village in ruins. Where did you come from? And what happened to the people who lived here? You must know! I realize how confusing this all must be. Truth be told, I don't fully understand it myself. 
What I can say is that one day, people from your Tuliolol suddenly appeared here in Alexandria. Or perhaps it was we who found ourselves in Tuliolol. Until but recently, we were completely unaware of events taking place beyond the barrier surrounding our realm. Does this not remind you of the Crystal Tower? How, after the Eighth Umbral Calamity, we devised a means to transport the Spire across time and space from the Source unto the First? Granted, this is on a much larger scale, if that is indeed what has happened. Not only the people and structures, but also the surrounding environment. Regardless, the people of Lakeland perceived the arrival of the Crystal Tower much as the Queen describes her own experience. Sudden and inexplicable. Well then, you appear to have a better grasp of our circumstances than we do. Indeed, more than I dared hope. In which case, a closer examination of the effects of this phenomenon may afford us more insights. Allow me to take you to the outskirts. A number of the Shatona live there as well. Perhaps your acquaintances are among them. Hold on. If we accept, there's no guarantee we're not walking into a trap. But if we're to defeat Zorolja, we need to understand how he grew so strong. Besides... Ah, oh, you're right. Queen Sphinx, before we go, Your Majesty, I have to ask, did you really have nothing to do with the attack on Tulihyolon? Noble Wuklamat, shall we dispense with the formalities? I'll not deny the soldiers and airships that attacked your people are products of Alexandria. But it was Zeralja, not we, who fashioned them into weapons of war and laid siege to Tuliolo. So he alone is to blame. No, I may not have prosecuted this war, but I nevertheless bear responsibility for it. Perhaps. I know next to nothing about you, let alone what you've been through. So by all means, show us around. I think we'll learn a lot from meeting more people. <gasps> Wonderful! If you would follow me! Suspicion. If things should take a turn for the worse, might I call upon your aid? <laughs> I jest, of course, but you do strike me as the most capable here.
Interesting. I am curious if this is gonna turn out to be like, because their civilization is so advanced. If these are gonna be the people who somehow managed to survive the first Umbral Calamity with their shard, somehow existing in this bubble of Levin energy out there in the void. Curious. Hell yeah, I'm almost at 100 to Chen. I've been playing for like the last three fucking days. A lot! <laughs> to go to the etherite. I wouldn't say I'm cheating, Shen. I'm playing the game. <laughs> we are in level 97 MSQ quests now. I see somebody started it, but nobody's here. Since I know you don't care about spoiler shine, the 97 dungeon was so fucking good. <laughs> it was so good. Do the MSQ for them to show up. Okay. Should be enough, maybe? We got 10, so. Oh, maybe not. Yes, yes they do. They just have a spawn spot like right fucking here, apparently. There we go. Okay, let's see. North. Uh, the level 97 dungeon. Called Vanguard. It's quite good. Yeah, all of the all of the upgraded, like big cooldowns for tanks are really strong. Like Guardian, which is what Sentinel upgraded into. Really strong. How did I get ahead of you? You were so far ahead of me. What? I haven't... What? That's weird. Use my new skill. Wait, why did it not proc? Do I have to do the what? Did I not? Hmm. 
No, it's there. Oh, I thought you were killing them because you had like a hunt log for them. Oh, there we go. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so I have to use my sword combo in order to get my new sword combo button. Even though it's an OGCD. There's a thingy over here, sweetheart. Which is why I was going this way. I think Dark Knight's got the better end of the stick with theirs. Um, with their upgrade to whatever the fuck. Not Dark Missionary, but... Edgy... Edgy Sentinel. I don't actually know what it's called right now. Um... But yeah, they're all... Really fucking strong. Okay, time to not look at my link shell for like the next half an hour. One, two, these things are going to die too fast, three, and four, and new. <laughs> yes, he did. That's what your achievement's called. You haven't seen it in like almost three years. You're so shiny. This skill is very shiny. Targeting you would not be interesting. Yeah, 96 is when I got Imperador, which is really nice. What does Gunbreaker get at 94? Did I get anything? I didn't get anything at 94. I got Melee Mastery at 94. I think, and Enhanced Rampart, but everyone gets that. I almost ran into Defective Sentries. Is that the continuation combo for Gunbreaker at 96 for your AoE? Or Faded Circle? Yeah. I'm guessing we're in the cave. Yeah. Oh, big cave system apparently. Yep, there it is. Oh, last fate just spawned though. Hopefully we don't go murder. Although it doesn't seem like there's too many people here. 
Jordan really loves the 97 dungeon. It's kind of funny. The gun. Yeah. Blah, blah. Interesting. So they actually told us every single zone this time around. Hmm. Okay. Nope. Sweetheart, you know how this goes. It's how this has been since Heaven's Ward. You're such a little crybaby. No. No. You must earn those wings. side of the wall. Mm -hmm. The queen is like a really bright and cheery person, but this place is oppressive as hell. I'm feeling. find much of what you see in Alexandria strange. The traditional agriculture practiced in this village at least should be familiar.
Queen's Fiend? What business brings her here, I wonder? The Queen has come! You look well, Paquine. Katonye, I see you've already taken to your new position. When she introduced herself as queen, I was expecting someone colder. Honestly, she reminds me of you, Lamachi. Me? It's only natural for a ruler to love her people. And I should like to know them as best I can, even the most trifling details. The more you come to know them, the more you grow to love them, who they are and what they've built. That's it. Beautifully put. And it would appear that she is well loved in town. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm in a cutscene, so. Your Majesty, <laughs> you honor us with your presence. And who are these fine people? Tuliolol's vow of resolve, Wuk Lamart, and her companions. They come from beyond the barrier, but you needn't worry. They are good people, and are to be treated as my honored guests. The rumors of a link to the outside are true, then. Ruklamont is still so young. Oh, where are my manners? I am Popone, a leader of sorts of the people living out here. Pony, that is a ton of and rig to it. Right, you are. I take it you hail from this region as well, Teshpiani, perhaps. Yes, I do. I don't suppose you know a woman by the name of Kafkiwa. Kafkiwa. Hmm. I'm afraid I'm not sure if I've ever met someone with that name. Oh. Mother isn't here. But it's a relief to know at least some of the people of Yasulani are alive and well. Your mother, you say? Now that you mention it, I do see the resemblance. You know my mother? I do. Yes. Then tell me, please. Where is she? I cannot say. Not here. But I promise I will in due time. a question, Pepone. Do you recall what happened the day the dome first appeared? Uh, the barrier? Well, um... I remember fixing a shelf that had collapsed after a terrible earthquake. Then the ground began to tremble, there was a brilliant flash of light, and then... <clears throat> Forgive me, my recollection of it all is rather poor. You needn't push yourself, Papone. After 30 years, no one could blame you for not remembering. 30 years? As in 30 years in the past? Absurd though it may sound, there is no doubt in my mind the events that led to the joining of our lands occurred 30 years ago. 
Which is not to say I understand why our perceptions of the intervening time are so radically different. We only just became aware of the discrepancy when Zoraljar's military base was completed, and we were at last able to venture beyond the barrier. I believed you long dead. To have the chance to kill you myself is an unforeseen blessing. Thirty years. Little wonder Zoralja assumed no, I'm good. our father had already passed away. It's not unlike how time passes differently in the first and the source. The fluctuating space of the rift between them disrupting temporal equivalence. Perhaps the same holds true here, and time flowed faster within the dome. I cannot say for certain, but I strongly suspect that to be the case. And based on the Queen's account, this encampment may have come to serve as a physical bridge between the two planes, after which the dome was forced into the source's temporal flow. If we're to be certain of anything, we need more information. Sveen, would it be all right if we had a look around and spoke with the townspeople? By all means. Time to see what we can see of Alexandria, then. And its people. I may yet find familiar faces among the survivors from Yasolani. Even if I don't understand the half of it, I would learn more of this place before we confront Zorolja. Perhaps you'd care to see how we make our living. Though we have always prided ourselves on the use of traditional Tonawatan farming methods, the use of electro fuel technologies has led to countless agricultural innovations. I would join you as well. Ma'am, please, you needn't trouble yourself. It's no trouble at all. And I promise not to cause any manner of distraction. Reassuring words, or they would be had I not heard them countless times before. Very well, but do be careful. Of course. I shall proceed with the utmost care. Now then, if you two would follow me, we can begin the tour. I can't say that I trust her yet. But I trust that her affection for these people is genuine. And that's enough for me.
system vendor is in this town, which is nice. Once you're done talking with people, Smart just got kicked too? Uh-oh. Don't go to town if your retainers come back up anytime soon, because Gilgamesh is hemorrhaging people right now. So hopefully we don't get kicked, but this instance that we're in seems stable because it's not lagging when talking to NPCs. I think it just logged in. I don't know how long she was in that queue for. Mm -hmm. Long fucking time, probably. Jordan just got ripped. Kevin just got kicked. Oh boy, they just got kicked. Like I said, I think we're okay here, because we're not lagging here. Oh shit. Oh dear. Not me, just I'm watching all the people log out.
Three heart, you might have to forgo your retainers for a few hours. No, I know, but I'm saying if we can't get back in and we get kicked to a 4,000 Q, I'm not sitting in a 4,000 Q. I'm going to Dynamis. <laughs> okay, and apparently Jordan can't even get into the launcher. Ooh, Meek just got kicked by... Kick from Dynamis, that's not ideal. Where's my phone? Yeah, the queue is at 5,430 right now. Yeah, so that's a Q. That's an Endwalker Q right there. <laughs> that's a lot of people that had to have gotten kicked. Yikes. Okay. Ugh. I know this queue ain't moving. It will move, but it ain't, it's gonna... It's... No, it's gonna stop once it gets down to 3,000. Okay, where's Dynamis? Dynamis! Can't even get to Mandarin. Uh, Dynamis is dead as fuck, sir.
so nice. <laughs>
Reflexia. when people are like, I doubt it's a DDoS. It's probably just a server buckle. And I'm like, um, let's see. It hit all the data centers, broke the login server, and it crashed the launcher. So you tell me, bud. Oh, yes.
Were you able to safely make it here? I'm sure you were. It's probably just soon. Is it still in the transitioning you to Dynamis screen? Okay. That person on the Discord. So being dumb. Apparently, uh, Axie's husband <laughs> uh, DC traveled to the safe server and he found me chilling in Gradania. <laughs> No, I do not believe so. Okay. Whoa, skipping cutscenes. I, I, I was nine yeah. No, you. It sounds like you were. Okay. Invite to party. Yeah, when I teleport to you, it'll put me in the same see. Please, I must confirm something. Got the motorcycle bike.
little bit of a pain to get to that one, but sure. There's no easy way to get to it. We gotta go up and around. It doesn't look like anybody's doing it, so. We've got time to waddle. I don't think so, Jordan, because I'm not on Gilgamesh. Hang on, let me see. Nope. Well, it's not saying you're in duty, so it might have actually kicked you. That should at least say you're online, I think. Question mark? <laughs> yep.
is very pretty. I really like her outfit. necessarily reminds me of like a queen per se but like definitely kind of like fairy tale princessy vibes which is kind of what I'm getting from her is she seems I, I don't want to say she's got that like damsel in distress kind of vibe but that's a little bit of what I feel is going on with her, unfortunately.
What's happening over there? It's nearly time. I'm glad you could make it. Are you with us? Queen so Sphinx, is someone come dying? to see you. With you, oh, Namika, no. everything is going to be alright. Little brother. This What's is the her... matter, dear? This is her... Oh, this is her maiden. Fuck, dude. It can't be. That's the bangle I gave to Namika. You know her? Of course I know her. She was like a mother to me. So Jordan, I hydrated. I see. She was always willing to lend a kindly ear to others, but rarely did she ever speak of herself. Is it... Is it really you? Then she was she must have arrived shortly before the barrier manifested. For us, it was perhaps days, but for her... Namika, it's me! Wuklamat! I'm afraid her time with us is nearly at an end. Has she no more soul cells? She always used hers sparingly, but at her age, it wouldn't make a difference. Ma'am, the ushers have arrived. Thank you, Namika, for your many years of friendship. Take comfort in the knowledge that this is not the end. Be not afraid. Your memory will live on in us. Living on in memory? The giants share a similar belief. Wait, where are you taking her? Worry not. She is being escorted to a medical facility in the tower. There, we will ease her burden. I had hoped to make arrangements for her sooner, but she wished to remain here for as long as possible. I could not bring myself to refuse her. Is there any way I might stay with her for a little while longer? First time I got super love, sad but during this expansion was when they gave me the feels for Bakul Jaja.
they be? Let us give them some time alone. No. Burger is not for Munchie. Go on, baby. She didn't speak, but I'm grateful that I could be with her at the end. Thank you. It's not the end. Hmm? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking that we have much to discuss. Where shall we begin? With what we can be reasonably certain of, perhaps. Between what we have witnessed and the testimony of Alexandria's inhabitants, it's safe to say that two distinct lands have indeed become one. What's more, having met Namika, there is no denying the divergence in the passage of time. Taken together, these phenomena strongly suggest that some manner of cross-rift displacement has occurred. Specifically, the displacement of Alexandria from another reflection to the source. It does seem the most likely explanation. What perplexes me, however, is the scale of said displacement. It far exceeds what could conceivably be achieved with a Void Gate, or even with the Crystal Tower. In essence, we are dealing with a localized instance of dimensional compression. The Asians would no doubt liken it to a rejoining. Which invites the question, how was such a feat accomplished? I wish that I had an answer for you, but... This talk of reflections and dimensions is well beyond my understanding. I can only tell you that we lived peacefully under the barrier's protection for many, many years. Until the day that peace was suddenly broken. If I may clarify, the barrier predates Alexandria's displacement. By several hundred years, yes. To when the continent we call home was ravaged by a devastating cataclysm. The barrier was erected to isolate us from the surrounding land's innocuous influence. I see. And it was only later that it was whisked away, along with its contents, by means unknown. In other words, Sphinx as lost as the rest of us, right? The Alexandrians didn't mean to end up in Tural. Ah, oh, but of course, our next stop ought to be Everkeep. That tower over yonder. Yes, the giant menacing Once over yonder been tower. as my guests, you will have access to Solution 9 and its residential district, where you will doubtless gain invaluable insight into Alexandria's state of affairs. Unfortunately, I cannot take you directly to where Zoraljar resides. That you'd let us in it all goes a long way toward proving you're not content to let Zoraljar do as he pleases. But we're not talking about a simple difference of opinion here. Princess. She's actually a queen. I've come but to avenge my father. She, and to do so, I intend she to knows take more Zorro than what she's life. letting on. Are you I know that much for sure. And allow Alexandria's king to be slain? Given everything she has told us so far about the fact that they have been a under a barrier question. for hundreds of years. 
I am still erring on the side of that this is thus. some My people come first. Their bubble of civilization from whatever shard was part of the first rejoining. Because the first rejoining or the first calamity was the calamity of lightning. How they managed to do that? It is Who knows? Duty. Assians, probably, somehow. I think she's an Assian. Now, I am off to register you at I think she's an Assian. She's got a weird little time, mask thing on her hip. The entrance open to you in due course. It's not red, but it's a oh, weird little mask and thing. Forget, your mother, Kafkiwa, you might try the Thunder Yards to the east. Which Assian she yards. might be? Is that where she is? She can't be Ultima, and she I'm cannot be. I can say no more than that. Make for the Thunder Yards, and all will be made clear. She cannot be Ultima, and she cannot be. Do Delafon. Could she be? Oh, creepy little it's thing happening on his head. Not pressing business. That's not, not until ideal. We can get into this ever keep anyway. So could she be Pasturat? Could she be Helmeret? Thank you. She might be one of those two again. It's not and another Amon. Get out of here. America these past thirty years, it means a lot to me. Namika? I'm sorry. But I don't know who you mean. Erased his memories. What? We were just with her. If this is some sort of a joke, it isn't funny. I don't mean to give offense, but... I honestly have no idea who you are talking about. I'm sorry. How can you not know who she is? You're in charge here. She was under your care. Then in all likelihood, my memories of her have been stored in the cloud. Any person seemingly forgotten without reason is probably there, in the cloud. Oh, I really must be getting back to work. If you'll excuse me. The big bad is actually OneDrive. Uh, OneDrive is shitty, so yes. <laughs> 12 out of 10, OneDrive is garbage. on the caregiver, please. Thank you.
Nobody remembers your nursemaid, Wuklamot. There's an angry robot looking at us. Do more than poke it with a stick, I'm gonna stab it with my sword.
Burnville. Uh, a trap. They do have shotguns. Huh? Machinists have shotguns. Who? I just have to get a look at you in the light. And I can still hardly believe my eyes. But it is you, my darling Elizabeth. My darling what now? see a little bun bun oh good lord Appearances notwithstanding, it would seem this is my mother, Kafkiwa. I'm sorry? Oh, this won't do. Come in, come in! Friends of my illness peer are always welcome. All I ask is a little forewarning, but no. I was starting to get a handle on this place. How are things still getting stranger? I like how much taller I was compared to Aaronville. He's got to be like. He's not quite min height because I think he's taller than Jordan. He's got to be like medium height. Medium height bun boy.
some nice detail on those things. I know you're respectfully looking at my armor, Jordan. Respectful. We've got a, a zero flashback. Interesting. I guess we are talking about the void. Gee, what you doing? Oh, big yeah, kitty's coming to cuddle with you. Maybe.
just went to weird high sci-fi very quickly. <laughs> Her name is actually Nostalgia. Why? Ooh, you wanna go do that fate that is totally actually probably gonna be done by the time we get there? Never mind. Did the boss fate spawn? Okay. Seem to take too too long, so that's good. It's just your mum mum and she. Mm -hmm. 
Really? The cast was finished. She's a little monk. I guess her name is Stryka, which would make sense for a monk.
Oh, Aether Current Quests. Hey, Rank. <laughs> mm. Silly ill fated hunter, what are you doing here? Silly sentry, what are you doing here?
getting roped into random things. Mm -hmm. But since you're a Vera, I suppose I can. Hrothgar have gotten a lot of love this expansion. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Each other for like a good like ten minutes. I think she's tired. She just wants petals from her mama. the music in here.
I love that she calls Aaronville her fussy bun bun.
Well... You've been consorting with Wook Lamott. No matter. I do not know what you are scheming. But when your realm lay on the brink, you were powerless. You had no choice but to turn to me. Whatever sentiment you may feel for her, it is my power you require. Is it not? Perhaps. And yet, knowing the love that Wood Lamarck bears for her people, how she regards them all as kin, I cannot help but wish to spare her the same pain I have suffered. What's more, her friends possess new knowledge. Were we to work together, we might find another path. and blood yet you attempt to sway me with an appeal to family the memory of my father's final moments still fills me with disappointment age came for him before i did for long years i sought to prove the miracle and weak as he was defeating him achieved nothing Killed you, first of all. To kill them is my only recourse. Uklamat and Kona, who bested him as he was in his prime. They are still your siblings, even if not by blood. That such bonds should mean so little to you. I am bound to no one. Serve none, save myself. I made that clear when first you spoke to me in the Golden City. Remember, I could easily kill your beloved family. If you would protect them, cast aside any foolish notions. Your wisdom and abilities are valuable insofar as Argos align. So think well before you act, Queen of Reason. If you are father's worthy successor, then you will find your way to me. But should you fall short, I will lay waste to Tuli Yolal. Lady, I can't help but say, you kind of fucked up with this one. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, Sylvanas and the Jailer. Um...
Ashara. That's her fucking name. Ashara and Sargeras. Sarger Make kitty, you can Own fucking cats love the fucking cloths for some reason. Ooh, excuse me. Fuck off, turrets. A bit. Ever keep a tower of electro. Hey, friends, we're on Neomuna. <laughs> Occupying the ninth level of this 12 tiered structure is a residential district called Solution 9. In so naming their home, what hopes did its founders harbor for it? And did it prove the answer they sought? This is our other hub. <laughs> Than our duty. 
Just to confirm, while we have been allowed inside, are we also permitted to roam? Absolutely. As Bean's registered guest, you'll find you're exempt from the sentry scrutiny. Ah, the elevator to the uppermost level. I wouldn't go near that. But other areas should be fine provided you act like you belong. All right then. We'll show ourselves around. Yes. Familiarizing ourselves with the technology here will help us prepare for the battles to come. Try not to enjoy yourselves too much, or you're liable to attract attention. Once you've explored to your satisfaction, come to the entrance to True View in the Eastern Sector. The way from there is a little complicated, so I'll send someone to guide you. Understood. We'll see you later. I shall speak with the residents. Perhaps one of them will recognize the earring. What's with this place? How can this all be the inside of a tower? So... What aren't you telling me? Where are you? the entrance to the Golden City. Wait, what? You did? Oh, why didn't you mention this sooner? This bomb's pretty cute. Um, you want to explore together? It's not that I'm scared or anything. Everything is just so different from home, is all.
I mean, yeah, it's the equivalent of Yulmore or Rads at Hen. Yeah, this will be our end game hub. Whereas Tuliolal is the equivalent of Charlian and the Crystarium. Forecast terminals instead of Skywatchers. why it would. Peloton only has a five second cooldown. Sprinted up top. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just that far. Because, yeah, you had sprinted up top, so you had the up top sprint plus the travel time from. from the pad. Oh, it's not? Another one? Interesting. All right, give me your sightseeing log, lady.
Jordan has me for money. Okay. Yeah, earlier. No. But I wanted to know if what the amount was, if he knew what it was exactly. But he says he thinks so, but he's actually not sure. Oh. Oh, he joked about- oh. Yes. Your Mad Max slash uh BDSM shirt. Yeah. What? Give it to Jordan. Rip. You can, yes. should be able to since it says fair skies but... ah there you are la mati sting i was worried you might have had trouble at the checkpoint but i see everything went according to plan well that's thanks to you scarcely arrived, but I have a request to make of you. Oh, a request, you say? Yes, an important one. Hmm? I'll say it plain. I want you to make peace with Zeralja. What? I thought you said you weren't on his side. We have come no closer to seeing eye to eye, nor do I condone his methods. Be that as it may, I don't want you to fight him. I don't want you to regret a decision made in anger and haste. Unequipped with regulators as you are, the risk is too great. I appreciate your concern, but you ask the impossible. Zorolja murdered our father. His minions slaughtered our countrymen. He will never renounce his war. As vow of resolve, it falls to me to stop him. I know you love your people too. And so you must understand how I feel. Why I cannot, will not back down. I do understand all too well. Let me say only this, then. Zeralja will use any means to win. If you would protect your people, return to them at once and prepare. 
prepare as best you can. It may ring hollow coming from the queen of an enemy nation. But unlike me, you still have the power to determine your own fate. A curious one. Look, you needn't worry for us. We have dependable comrades holding the fort in Tulichola. They'll keep everyone safe, so we can devote our attention to affairs here. Please. So you have comrades on whom you can rely. I am for you. You know, we'd like to learn more about you. About me? To be frank, we're still not sure whether or not you're trustworthy. So, if you have a moment, would you show us around the district? That way, we can get to know you better. <laughs> You're asking me, the Queen, to show you around? <laughs> oh, but I jest. I'm flattered that you've taken an interest in me. Very well. I shall be your guide. You're my guests, after all, and teaching you about my realm would be a pleasure in and of itself. If you like, I can introduce you to my citizens, too. I consider them family, as you do yours. <laughs> By all means, we're in your capable hands. That you are. This will be an enjoyable and enlightening tour. I promise.
Oh boy, Splendor's Vendor and Script Exchange. I'm all for it. Hell yeah, I'm gonna choose the pixelated grapes. We'll let you pick up the quest, it will not let you turn it in. You too. Oh, how interesting.
you get this other lookout spot here? It's back by the chairs.
Oh, yeah, I see that the etherite chart is right there. Change for credits. Through hard work, citizens can obtain the peace of mind provided by spare souls. It's the way of life for Alexandrians and has been for quite some time. But I imagine it must be difficult for outsiders to comprehend. That's putting it lightly. To be honest, it sounds disturbing. Still, I won't dismiss it out of hand. Practices like these don't arise from nothing. There's a reason why your culture is the way it is, and I'd like to understand. Won't you tell us some of your realm's history? Very well. Be warned, though, that it may take a while. In the distant past, over a thousand years ago, it said, lightning energy began to swell in our world. According to ancient records that date back around eight centuries, the rainy season spanned a quarter of the year, during which time severe thunderstorms ravaged the land. Four centuries later, this season had lengthened to nearly half the year. The trend continued, with our ancestors spending longer and longer languishing beneath storm clouds. Crops failed and livestock starved. But amidst this growing desperation, a miraculous material was discovered that promised salvation. Electrope. The stuff that's used everywhere here. Indeed. One day, when out inspecting a forest right, so after second, lightning had caused a fire, you. A villager came upon a curious black ore none had seen before. Testing revealed that the ore possessed a singular property. It could store lightning and convert it to other energies. In that instant, the scourge of endless storms became a blessing. Dubbed Electrope, the ore found use in myriad inventions and dramatically improved people's lives. So much so, in fact, that all nations soon became dependent upon it, despite the difficulty of obtaining it in quantity. Supply was chronically scarce, and when nations couldn't meet their needs with their own deposits, some resorted to taking Electrope from others. Fighting was isolated and sporadic, until Electrope came to be used in warfare. First in the weaponry of invaders, then in the countermeasures of defenders, and then 
in every aspect of combat where an advantage might be had. This served only to exacerbate the ore shortage, leading to further escalation. Before long, the entire world was engulfed in a terrible war known as the Storm Surge. As the war came to a head, Alexandria's neighbor, Lindblom, committed its stores of Electrope to the production of a weapon of mass destruction. They deployed it on the front lines and triggered a calamity of frightful magnitude. Not even their own scientists had anticipated the force of the lightning that was unleashed. The energy inundated the entire continent, laying it to waste. So that's how your world came to be this way. You truly know a great many things that I don't. I should like to learn about you too sometime. But to continue the tale, the people of Alexandria had already lost much to the war. They lost almost everything else to the Levin. Those who survived bore deep scars, tormented by the memory of loved ones taken too soon. Though they yet lived, the cruel specter of death was with them always. Seeking a solution, our scientists turned once more to Electrope, and after extensive research, they developed the means to preserve memory and soul. Physical death isn't the end. So long as our memories endure, we may live on. This belief sustained us then, and it sustains us now, granting us comfort. That's quite a tale. Your Majesty, help me. I beg you, help me. W what's the matter? I've got no souls left. Not a single one. But the lot at Soul Supply refused to give me any. Please, you must do something. My apologies, Your Majesty. This man, he does no work. Instead, he drinks his days away on true view. He has only himself to blame if he has no credits for souls. That's not true. I'm a fighter at the Arcadian. Or rather, I was. I haven't been allowed to fight because of the King's decree. It isn't my choice. I see. You're a brave warrior of the arena. I want to help you, I sincerely do. But I cannot give you preferential treatment. Then open up the Arcadian again, so I can fight. I'm sorry, but that's not my decision to make. The king requires feral souls for war. He doesn't wish for them to be expended on amusements. <laughs> You're useless! A queen in naught but name! <laughs> Insolent wretch! How dare you take that tone with Her Majesty? It's quite all right. Such things don't bother me, nor do I think ill of this man. Hear me. Though I cannot grant you a soul, I mean it when I say I want you to live. I love all of you equally. Dearly, you are as family to me, and 
It pains me to see you deny yourself hope. I want you to find a happiness all your own, even if you must grow it from the smallest seed of joy. Out there, somewhere, is a reason for you to smile again. We all need to vent our frustrations from time to time. I will always be willing to lend an ear. Yes, Mum. Of course. Even without a spare soul, I suppose I'm fine as long as I stay in Solution 9. I apologize for my rudeness. Good day to you. Keep your chin up, my friend. And when you feel better, I'm sure you'll find another way to apply your talents. He dropped the reed, Noom. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. Let's keep moving, shall we? Right, I believe we've visited all the main facilities. With that, I declare our tour concluded. That man from before, does that sort of thing happen often? Somewhat. It's unavoidable. Hardships are a fact of life. Our soul management system has sustained our realm for generations, but it isn't without flaws. For one, people have become accustomed to having spare souls. Without them, they feel vulnerable and anxious. Some claim it may also have contributed to a decline in births. Just thinking out loud, but would it be possible to do away with the system? <sighs> no. I know it isn't easy to change one's beliefs and way of life. The Mamulja had their reasons for their reliance on blessed siblings, much as you have yours for souls. But if we defeated Zorolja, you'd be able to make all the decisions, right? Then we could work together to fix things, restore your realm to where it belongs, and see where we can go from there. Listen to me. There's something that I need to tell you. What is it? Uh, actually, never mind. It's nothing of import. Well, it was lovely showing you around. Uh, of course. Of course. Thanks so much for the tour. We've learned not only about your realm, but you as well. For now, our priority is Aralja. But once we've dealt with him, perhaps I can return the favor and show you to Lihyola. I'd like that very much. It seems I've no choice but to continue down this path.
Forgive me, Val Wuklamat, but I must disappoint you. Can. Well, let me rephrase. He is the only one that can with Purple Kitty. it when he's here first. Be where the raid takes place. I didn't even notice the graphics card. Thank you. 
We've only just arrived ourselves. Amazing! I bid you welcome to the back room. Oblivion's humble headquarters. Out, tucked behind a drinking hole. Brings back memories, doesn't it? Our members here are mainly creators and adapters. That is, scientists and engineers who specialize in electro. They use their skills to provide support to our field operatives. provisioning. Gotta have supplies to fight the good fight, ain't ya? Luckily we got the tools to craft most of what we need. Gathering intelligence is another vital aspect of our work. Everkeep's core system is a veritable treasure trove of information. You just need to know how to get in and find it. We also handle surveillance and communications, watching the enemy's movements and coordinating our own, that sort of thing. And among all our activities, we spend a fair bit of effort investigating preservation. The organization credited with laying the foundations of electrobe technology. From the sole management system to Everkeep's design, they're behind just about everything you see here. It'd be no exaggeration to say they made this realm what it is. But their magnum opus was without a doubt the power which was used to join Alexandria to Tural. Interdimensional fusion. Said power isn't unlike my summoning technique and the magic within Asm's crystal. Yet, though the effect is localized, to be able to fuse realities. Ugranol. Knowledge, I struggle to conceive how it yeah. could be possible. Yeah, he's gonna be our new relic guy. This expansion. And so I have no doubt. The founders of our group, a husband and wife, were members of preservation at one point. That they opposed the fusing of worlds, and so defected in order to prevent it. While not entirely unexpected. Given what we have seen, the defectors are Kyle's parents. The revelation. By the by, that's an interesting earring you have there. A novel way of carrying a data storage device. Oh, you didn't know. Well, as a precautionary measure against machine infiltration, we scan everyone as they enter, and when we scanned you. We detected a small quantity of electrope. Though it's been dressed up, that earring is a storage device, and no mistake. Bought it from a shop here, did you? No, it, it, it isn't bought, but inherited. So these people sent you through the portal along with the earring. Do you know aught of them? Listen, Kryle. The husband and wife who founded our order. It's believed that they were Malala. Though we have no evidence at present, we can't rule out the possibility that they were 
your parents or perhaps close relations. This I posit because they were the very individuals who spearheaded the research into interdimensional fusion. As traitors to preservation, they were relentlessly pursued. If they had a child they feared they couldn't keep safe, entrusting her to the people of another world might have been their best option. My parents, the founders of Oblivion. Tell me everything you know about them, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. Anything and everything. We don't even know their names, I'm afraid. In a bid to elude Preservation's agents, we suspect they erased all trace of themselves. If you're interested, though, you're welcome to review our accumulated data. Yes, please. As an individual and member of my order, both, I wish to learn as much as possible. I should also like to peruse the data. Where the joining of realities is concerned, I may well be of service. It's what they call Lollafels on their shard. Yes. If you like, I can examine your earring. I have to say, the prospect that it belonged to our founders has me itching to take a look. I dare say we have enough eyes to pour over your records. Is there any other way we might be productive? Alice is bored. Mm, not right now. We're still waiting for Zoralja to make the next move. In that case, Alice, would you mind accompanying me? Gladly. I'm not gonna ask about the <sighs> blue scaled kid. I'm bugging it up again! Ugh. <sighs> Never a moment's peace. Pay him no mind. I don't. Oi! You two there! Why don't you give me a hand, would you? Don't matter who. Uh, I just remembered I have matters to discuss with Shay. Thanks, Aaronville. <laughs> Appreciate you, bud.
boy. <laughs> Even does the same pose, yep. <sighs> I've been meaning to ask about that Mamulja child. Could he be... think so too but what is he doing here he was abandoned the poor dear we found him in the drift downs a few years ago <sighs> just think he cast aside his child we can't say for certain who he was born to or why he was on his own but he's a blue-scaled Hubigo, and Zoralja is the only other one around. That being the case, everyone assumes their father and son. Even the boy has put two and two together. This all happened when he was very little, so he has no recollection of his parents. <sighs> it breaks my heart to think of it. Yep. What's his name? Kuluja. It was my hope that he'd grow up to be a man of principle, like his grandfather. <laughs> it's a fine name. Uh, I should mention that the boy is a little unusual. to raise him as my own. But just when I thought he was warming to me, he suddenly disappeared. We searched high and low for several days. And where should he turn up? But in the wilds near Everkeep. What? It's a miracle he didn't fall prey to fiends. See? That's another unusual thing. Creatures don't seem to attack him. He could pick his way through the Thunder Yards as if he were on a stroll. On making inquiries, we learned that he had been living alone and receiving food from the people of the outskirts. This became something of a pattern. We track him down and bring him back, only for him to disappear again within a matter of days. He would return to the wilds without fail, and once again rely on the kindness of strangers to survive. Finally, I took the hint and left him be, giving him the solitude he prefers and lending a hand only when he explicitly asks. If Gulucha is Zorolja's child, that makes him my nephew. Assuming he's willing, I'd be glad to take him in like Papa did for me. Mm, but seeing as I'm here to kill his father, I don't know if it would be right. Who was that? Oh dear. It's Galulja. Don't tell me he heard everything. Oh, this is my fault. I asked that he be kept 
away, but I should have taken more precautions. I'm going after him. I need to explain. Wait, Lamachi. I understand your haste, but it'd be best to coordinate a search. Kakiwa, do you have any idea where he might go? There's no telling, I'm afraid. He could as easily be outside the tower as here in Solution 9. If those who can fight would search below, my mother and I will scour the district. Sounds like a plan. Let's get to it. She wants to be engine. No, there's no room for you, Trinky Mum. Sorry, it's full. Let, let the void kitties have a turn. Come on, Mamas. Come on. You have lots of other cozy beds. The current is on the other side of the bridge, um, at top of the cliffs. After you talk to Ultimon. Like, up top of the cliffs where I am.
I'm uh, free to put the kitty in the room. Purple Kitty is really not in a caring mood today, apparently. Well, okay then. It's okay, Purple Kitty. Nope. Flag marker is another uh, ether cream. Yes. Elephant swarm. Two more. 
when it's directly so that would Um, I'm on, hang on, suck, uh, <laughs> I have completed more of the quests than you have, I can tell you that much, uh, because I've picked up the next quest, but it pretty much just brings you to this town, or the outskirts of this town, I should say. The quest you're at right now is where I'm at. Drown vestiges where you just speak with Bukumat. Flag I put in party chat is another ether current. Leave me alone, stupid snack. Thank you.
He's come a long way on such short legs. It's a relief he didn't get hurt. What's here, I wonder? So he's looking after those little ones. Bulja. Not another step. What? A sentry? Run, Guluja, run! My name is Wukla Mat, and I've come to talk to Gulurja. Is that so? I'm sorry if I scared you. I want to get to know you better. That's all. And you, my boy. Do you wish to speak with them? I heard them talking. She said she's going to kill my father. Villains! I will deal with them forthwith! But... I... I want to get to know her, too. I see. If that is your desire, then I shall stand aside. All right, then. Let's talk, you and I. Lots. But, uh, who's the ancient-looking and articulate machine? If I look ancient, it is because I am. This has been my vessel for no less than 380 years. Vessel? Otis is my friend. When I was hungry and sad, he came and looked after me. He cooks for me and teaches me all kinds of things. Like how to read and write and... and not be noticed by dangerous creatures. This machine cooks for you. ...and teaches you about fiends. What is he exactly? Ah! How remiss of me. I had neglected to introduce myself. Sir Otis Valona, Lord Captain of the Royal Knights of Alexandria. At your service. You're Captain of the Knights? with whom you wish to speak. Not that I'm averse to taking a walk down memory lane. But ere I regale you, we must take a repast. A meal? Here? I hate to turn down food, but I'd prefer to have this conversation in the back room. Please, I'm really hungry. All right, 
all right. A repast it is. She's going to spoil her nephew, Silly. I'll send word to Erinville so the others can stop worrying. Now, if I might prevail upon your assistance, I shall whip up my most delectable specialty. Looks like there's a waterway this way, so you don't have to run quite so far and around. Yeah, there is. Where are you going? Just to go around anyway? No, I'm still Oh, to explore. Okay. <laughs> oh, I figured you'd. Okay, never mind. I didn't do the follow Galuja. I just picked it up. the bring back food and talk to Otis part, so I think we're on the same part now.
Meteor thunderstorm. Nahe, is that you? Good gods, Ellen Mespia! It's been too long, my friend! Where have you been all these years? What have you been doing with yourself? Hold on. They say Queen Sphine has guests from outside the barrier. That's you, I gather? It's like, that's so strange because it's still sunny outside, but yeah, it's about to pick up pretty <laughs> fucking quickly, so. apparently. I'm looking for my mother. Do you know where she is? Um, I am not hungry, so you're more than welcome to. Your mother? <laughs> Sorry, but what was she like again? What? It's Kafkiwa. You know, the one who was too adventurous by half? Who, who journeyed with the Dawn Servant? Hmm. It's not ringing any bells. You can't be serious. Ours was a tiny little village. Surely you remember her. I really don't. It's all a blank. Is anyone else here from the village? Hey! Huh? Ellen Espia? I'm looking for Kafkiwa. Where is she? Wh what's this all of a sudden? Who's Kafkiwa? This... This cannot be. Memories of the departed are taken away. No. Is there an Ethernet or an Ethernet current quest all the way down there? <sighs> and all the way one and one all the way up there.
that looks like a very spoopy A rank over there. Spire of Trial. <laughs> and he tells me that's gonna be a dungeon. Buddy. Yes. You can, but they usually have a different name. But for whatever reason, ours have the same name. Probably because it's just generic NPC instead of an actual uh, named NPC.
I got too far ahead of mine and then it's just kind of buggered out since then. Okay, here we go. Clan rolling in. No, I'm good.
Why don't you come with us? You might get to see Sphinx. Ah, tis a magnanimous and much appreciated offer. But I must decline. A part of me longs for an audience with Her Majesty, it is true. Yet, though it be in my previous life, I failed to protect my queen. I couldn't bear to show my face before her. <laughs> Such an uncomely one, besides. <laughs> All right. If that's how you feel, we won't force you. But rest assured, we'll visit with Kuloja, and we hope you'll cook for us again. Comrades, should you so desire, the more the merrier. <laughs> I've been looking all over for you. Nostalgia, was it? What's the matter? It's Saralja. He marches to Vanguard. So he's done waiting. But why weren't we alerted sooner? Our transmissions are being jammed. The lookouts couldn't get through to us. Why Akwe is at Vanguard too, but I can't reach her. What are we to do? Stay calm. Kafkiwa has yet to be alerted, yes? Take word to the back room as fast as you can. Our link pearls may still work. I'll try contacting those in Tuliala. I need you to keep Guloja safe. You needn't ask. I want to go with you. Absolutely not. The battle's no place for you. Guloja, the people of the outskirts must be evacuated. For this crucial task, I require your assistance. Remember, when battle is at hand, anything can happen. Caution is as valuable as any blade. Yes, sir! I managed to get hold of Alphano. He'll inform Kona. Good. How's the situation in Tulisola? There's nothing to worry about, or so my brother assured me. With such short notice, though, I doubt they'll be fully prepared. They'll be ready, I'm sure of it. A vow of reasons not to be underestimated. Soroja, and we will finish this once and for all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. 
see this is a little on the 98 quest. Okay. The big spoopy out there. The big fucking scary thunderclouds. <laughs> Why not the like Bako Jaja? Zorulja. He's gotten taller. Zorulja, he's gotten taller. Disappoint me, Uklamat. We are foes, yet you had my admiration for defeating father and claiming the throne. But instead of coming for me, you gallivant with the resistance. Do I intimidate you? I am here, brother. I did not run. Nor hide. I have come to kill you. Let her go. Your quarrel is with me. And will you settle it one on one, or call upon all and sundry yet again? Not that it would make any difference. Papa did, I'll face you alone. <laughs> really? You believe you stand a chance? Have you forgotten how it ended, father? I remember you couldn't win without relying on other people's souls. Alone, I may be weak, but so are you. So be it. Do not regret your decision. Release her. Oh, thank you. Oh, I thought I was done for. <laughs> Be 
he's still done for. Oh, she blocked it. <laughs> Had you let her die, you could have dealt me a telling blow. Your compassion will be the end of you. I'm not letting anyone else die. And you, you will never surpass Papa. But I have, with these very hands, I slew him. His body may be gone, but his spirit lives on in us. The Yokui's delusion is catching, I see. It's no delusion. Papa's love for Tuli Yola gives me strength even now. Get this over with. For my people and Sphines. How gullible you are. All of this is Sphines doing. Her objective is to harvest all life outside the barrier. Our interests happen to align. Hence, our alliance. Liar! Sphine would never do that! The King of Resolve speaks the truth. How did she...? The attack on Tural was no less my desire than Zeralja's. You said you wanted none of this. It was a farce from the very start. Yes, I used you. So it was all just a lie then? What you said about loving your people as family? ...about wanting to see them smile? I do this for them! For what it's worth, I'm sorry I deceived you... ...but I had no choice. If I'm to save my people... ...I must take the lives of yours! Nothing is dearer to me than my people. It matters not whether they are living or endless. As queen, I will do anything to protect them. If it were you, could you have found another way? With your strength, could you have held fast to that which is dear? Without sacrifice? What exactly do you seek to do? What are you protecting your people from? You a 
waste your words. There is no turning back. Is this the strength that the love of Tuli Yulon lends you? A weak ruler walks a path of ruin. Tell me, which of us is worthy of their throne? Munchie. I already know. It will never be you. Are you not Munchie? Your mama. Hi, mama. As long as you think only of yourself, you'll never be worthy. You'll never surpass father or me. Hi, Munchie. Come on, guys. Move along. rely on souls anymore. It's over. Yum, yum. Don't think you've won yet. Oh no. Far from it. Give the order to the fleet. Raise Tuli Yulon to the ground and harvest every last soul. It is over for Tuli Yulol. Your works, your people, all will be ash before the day is done. Don't tell me you've forgotten. I'm not the only Dawn's servant. Bastards. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're enjoying yourself. I'm Head Sauro. Nothing gets a hunter's blood pumping like a little danger. Well, now, it seems we have that in common. I haven't felt this alive in a good while. Falcona, we deliver him a mountain of scrap. And I'm not about to let these hollow men make a liar out of me. No, my cheek. No. <laughs> hey, kid. The ones below are yours. You got it. Below. 
thank you very much. Don't see that every day. Since it crackled while you were out there, and one the door was open. Like you decided to show up. And this, despite our best efforts to thin the enemy ranks. While it's not quite what we had planned, I'm glad we chose to remain in Tural. As am I. It was an unexpected but welcome opportunity to join in the defense of this realm. And to his credit, Kona did ask very nicely. Still, it's a pity his brother had to delay our pleasure jaunt. But business always comes first. Save your life. <laughs> yes, I know. Don't squander it. I never thought you of all people would come to my rescue. Bakul Chacha. Thank you. Oh, still rings odd in my ears. The thank yous. But I'm cooking. Such a goon. in its escort. If they start bombarding us with cannon fire, we'll have no means of fighting back. Worry not. We have a countermeasure. Oh! Hello! That is not the countermeasure I was expecting. Bleeding dragon!
Only your life shall never forget this debt. We will hold out, Lamachi. Keep your eyes forward, and do what only you can do. Finish this, and return home safe and sound. Report from the fleet. The enemy has offered unexpected resistance. We've been forced to withdraw. <sighs> Useless. All of you. <clears throat> ah! Stop! Yes, countermeasure indeed. Right? Like, excuse, excuse me, sir? <laughs> It's Vitra, yeah. in its duty. It is the charge of the King of Resolve to clean up its mess. To achieve victory by any means necessary. Zoralja to Everkeep. Initiate court No, blood. that's, uh, what's her tits? The dragon Let's that we saved. The sister. Dear their souls. Find me at the top of Everkeep. There, we will determine who is fit to rule.
Solo doo doo. Solo doo doo wants here out of all those cutscenes. Your progress through the battle will be saved at certain points. Which means it's a long solo doo doo. Cool. What have you done? Sveen, can't you order them to stand down? The King of Resolve holds military authority. I cannot overrule his commands. If there's something you can do, then do it! Your crimes are beyond forgiveness, but your people are innocent. <gasps> oh. I deceived you all, and still... The talk can wait. When you said that you wanted to protect your people, I trust you weren't lying. Of course not! There's nothing I wouldn't do for them! Then let's split up and get to work. Do what you can do.
Looks like that does it for this area. Look, the King's forces are on the move. There are still civilians on True View. We can't leave the wounded. Let's divide into two groups. Kryle, Raha, please stay here and render aid. The rest of us will go and deal with the machines. Don't want to fight Otis. Otis, you've got to wake up. Otis?
He's deactivated. It should be safe to approach. Otis! No! I remember you, Otis, so please remember yourself. Proud knight of Alexandria, a man who lives to serve the kingdom and its subjects. Dude, all of the dungeons are fucking cool, Shen.
Oh Jesus. bad. Hmm. Something tells me that's part of it, though. <laughs> Not good. At this rate. Notice. You probably don't want to touch him. Thank you, you know, he's... Lord Captain, for the delicious repast, for everything. The old units do not have regulators. Their souls cannot be recovered. He is gone. The Otis who so valiantly fought for us. I'm truly grateful for your help. Would that I had the time to thank you properly. But I'm afraid I cannot linger. There are urgent duties I must perform. Hey, wait! Fine, but Otis is... So he's the one who was looking after Galulja. Thanks to you, Solution 9 has been spared the worst. But the situation on the other levels is grim. 
We're currently assessing the full extent of the casualties. In the meantime, could you help us treat the wounded? Sentries aren't malfunctioning, but he definitely attacked your ass. Are you all right, Guloja? Lots of people are dead because of my father, aren't they? That's... And Otis... He's gone too, isn't he? I'm sorry. My father is a bad man. That's why you're going to kill him, aren't you?
Forget it. I don't care anymore. Listen to me, Kulucha. You're right. We're going to confront your father. He invaded Tulihyola and hurt my people. As vow of resolve, it's my duty to bring him to justice. Don't you think of him as family anymore? After the attack, I was filled with rage. I told myself over and over that he's no brother of mine. But it isn't so simple. No matter what I feel or say, all those years I spent striving to live up to his example, they won't just disappear. What's more, it's because we're family that we have to correct each other when someone goes astray. That's why I must confront my brother, like your grandfather did, even though it cost him his life. But... Otis is gone now. If my father was gone too, Then... I'd have no one. What are you saying, Golja? Take a look around. You have us, Gulucha. All of us. We'll be with you. Through thick and thin. You're not alone. You'll never be alone again. Ninety-nine dungeon. You weren't surprised by these? No, I'm okay.
Oh no, this has to be a spot for a fucking fade. Hands down.
Uh, it's lightning. I did not hear any fireworks going off. Mm -hmm. No. Well, I guess the question was, is do you want to call it here because it's starting to get late? Because if we keep going, we have at least the dungeon and the trial for sure. As in like this dungeon and then the 99 trial and then an entire other zone still. Yeah, we still have a whole other zone to do, so. <laughs> right now might not be a terrible stopping point. Because it's getting late, and one of us at least has to do adult responsibility things tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said one of us. Not with me, you? No. <laughs> Although I'll probably be up. It's in here. Six seventy five stuff might not be terrible. Oh my. <laughs> that chest piece, yo. Yep. Let's see, hat that works for Vera? Nope. Very purple indeed. <laughs> I don't care for the weapons. <laughs> okay. Nobody has responded to me about how terrible the key is for Gilgamesh, which is unfortunate. But... Aether's still a, lo a little busted from whatever the fuck it was that happened earlier. Assuming you can actually get to sleep.
Return home. Return to home world. But, uh, this game says no fuck you. Turn home. Sorry, Dorothy. Not happening. Let me go home. Nope. Friends, I'm gonna turn the stream off. Um, take a break for a little bit. We might be back to do the dungeons and trial and stuff.